Okay, in today's tutorial we're looking at how to get started with the Siemens TC35 GSM module. We'll look at the, the quickest way of getting started, which is using a serial cable. We'll also show an example of how to send a text using the module. The, the Siemens TC35 is a great cheap way of adding GSM capabilities to your next project. It's available on eBay for less than £15 if you're willing to wait for the shipping from China. It features a serial port which can be used to connect a computer and receive commands or it can be controlled directly by a microcontroller. It has a SIM card slot on the back which we're going to use an EE UK SIM card and uh, been using that for a while and had no problem so far. In this tutorial we'll be looking at controlling the module directly using a computer and one of these which is a serial to USB cable again which can be bought from eBay very cheaply. In order to send uh, the module control commands known as AT commands that's because they start with the letters AT uh, a terminal client is required. This could be putty or hyperterminal, uh, but for simplicity we'd recommend putty as it's free and easy to use. So in order to install it, you can search for putty, navigate to their website and download the installer. If you run through the installation wizard and then you're you're ready to get started. We can then look at setting up the module. The module can be powered from either the provided power jack or simply using uh, one of the power supply ground and power pins on the header. Uh, so for simplicity as I have a an Arduino to hand I'm going to collect the connect the power from the Arduino to the module. After doing this the, the power light comes on but in order to start the module the, the button needs to be pressed. It will then flash slowly until it's established a connection with a, a GSM carrier at which point it will start to blink uh, more sharply and less frequently and this means that it's ready to use. We can then plug in the serial cable and open up putty. In order to connect the module to send commands we must know which COM part it's using. Uh, this can be found by opening the device manager of your PC on Windows. And here we can see that it's on COM part 9. So we can select or open a serial terminal, type in COM 9, and then we have a connection to the device. The first thing to test is the simple AT command. So if you type AT, if the device is set up and working properly, it should just respond with OK. We can then look at what happens if we try and make a call to the module. So here I'm calling the phone number of the SIM card in the module and we can see that kind of ring ring is displayed on the screen so we know that it's working. So now to do something useful which we're going to try and send a text. Okay, so in order to put the device in the correct mode for sending text, we can type AT plus CMGF for configuration equals 1. We can then send our message by typing AT plus CMGF followed by the phone number which you want to send the text to. So this needs to be in the international dialing format so it'll start with plus and then a country code and then a number so in the UK it would start with plus four four 
After having typed this in, an arrow will appear signaling that you should type your message. So you type in the message and then you can send it by entering the escape character or control C on your keyboard. And that's it, the, the message gets received. Uh, and that's a simple way of sending text over serial. In order to integrate this module into your project, this these serial commands can be sent by a microcontroller, an Arduino or something else. Uh, so I'll uh, do another tutorial shortly illustrating how to control a, a device uh, via SMS using an Arduino. There are more instructions on our website plus a downloadable instruction sheet and a full list of AT commands which you can send to the module so please take a look at that and also please subscribe or like us on Facebook to keep up to date with the latest tutorials.